place. We are the source. W-O-C-A. All right, 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, what, what's probably the first thing you're doing this morning? You're probably brushing your teeth, right? Is it the first thing you do, Robin? Oh, brush your teeth? A, no, I... Uh, I go to the bathroom first and I brush my teeth. <laughs> that's my morning regimen in case anybody wants to. One of the first, I should say. That's one right. one of the first things you do. Do you brush your teeth more than once bladder. a day? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm a two time a day guy now. Yeah. When I was a kid, and in fact, most of my life I wasn't. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, I uh, always. Have you ever tried the, the whitening things? No, no, never have done that. Let's see, have I ever tried about them? that? I I don't think I ever have. I think I bought toothpaste that claimed. Like, you remember pearl drops? Oh, yeah. Remember yes. that toothpaste pearl drops? I remember that. I used to get pearl drops. I don't mm-hmm. think I don't think that really helped. But I've, I've, I've been pretty blessed with my teeth on mm-hmm. I actually thank my parents for that because they took me to the dentist <laughs> when I was a kid, even though I haven't been as good at it as they were to me. Dr. Barry Bartusiak is on the phone. He's uh, hopefully been able to hear what we were saying. Uh, he's a dentist to the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's a cool thing to have on, your, on your business cool. card. And he's going to tell us natural ways to whiten our teeth. And I think charcoal was the thing I heard. Mm-hmm. Somebody said, I think well, maybe his publicist, Rich. Good yeah. morning, Dr. Bartuzia. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm great, Larry and Robin. Good morning. Thanks again for having me. I sure do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, you talked about the first thing you do in the morning. Of course, yeah, brush your teeth and uh, get ready for your day. Absolutely. And uh, I, there's some neat things out there, as you alluded to, that are very natural and uh, can get the job done. I can't stand to not brush my teeth. It's one of those mm-hmm. things, if I don't brush my teeth, it's like horrible. Yeah. In fact, sometimes well, I wake up in the middle of the night and just want to brush my teeth because something happens in your mouth while you're sleeping. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. The, the bacteria are having a, like a grand fiesta party in there, absolutely. Is that right? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. Party down. <laughs> so that's why it's important to brush before you go to bed, not to say, I'm sure every adult knows these things, but I'm just mm-hmm. saying. Absolutely, yeah. Well, um, Plaque is a soft material. It's made up of bacteria. And, uh, you know, one of the most important things is we need to get that off about every six to eight hours. So uh, you hit the nail on the head, Larry. We need to get that off three times a day. Where are you? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh? Yes. Well, that makes sense. You're with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So what? How, how, so the, do they have a lot of teeth problems? Well, you know... Uh, <laughs> When you have 300-pound people uh, running four sixes uh, into each other, boom. Mass times acceleration, boom. Yeah, that can bad things can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we? Are, are I know we want to talk about uh, whitening teeth, but are, are fillings chemically different today than they were? When, when would I have had my fillings? Fifty years ago? A half yeah. a century? Oh, yeah. Oh, Absolutely yes. Fifty years ago, um, you had silver fillings. Uh, also called amalgam, and uh, today we use a, a composite material that's kind of like uh, a, 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 all ceramic and uh, just far different, almost night and day, actually. Really? And, you know, um, speaking of night and day, there is a natural toothpaste out now. It's black. Is this the one with the charcoal? Yeah, well, it's not chocolate. No, it's called black as white toothpaste. It's black <laughs> toothpaste, Larry. <laughs> it is black. When you brush your teeth, and you look in the mirror and you go, ah, that'll be the first thing you do. But uh, I mean, it rinses right away. But it is, I mean, the first time you do it, Larry and Robin, it is a big deal. What does it taste like? Mint. Yeah, I mean, it's all natural. No preservatives. Okay. No preservatives, no bleach. But no why is it black? Food. Why is it black? It has charcoal, activated charcoal. Charcoal. That's yeah, what I thought. Like, okay, charcoal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. So it's like, an, uh, you know, what's old is new again, you know? So we go back to the future a little bit and uh, use that. And my gosh, it's an all-natural way to get your teeth white. And it's a very effective. And it's very popular. I mean, it, it's came, it came over from Switzerland. It's a company called Curaprox. Uh-huh. And, uh, and you like it? No, I love it. You should. You know what? Here's the deal. I knew we were on to something kind of neat when I made my teenage daughters happy. Okay. They could tell the difference? Well, not only could they, they tell the difference, but it passed the coolness test there. The what test? Coolness? Coolness test, in, exactly. In so what way? Like, <laughs> oh, they were posting what? pictures of themselves brushing their oh. teeth with uh, black toothpaste? Exactly. You hit the nail on the head, right. It's the coolness <laughs> doctor. I'm using black toothpaste, Larry and Robin. That is so cool. Oh, um, no. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. So, what, okay, if I were to think of charcoal, I think of my outdoor grill, okay? That's right. Yep. And, and that Char- seems yep. very gritty. So, is it gritty? No, not in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, basically, think of enamel as a honeycomb, okay? And then what happens is, is stain and bad stuff gets inside that honeycomb. So charcoal is just a natural way of kind of pulling that out. It's in many uh, women's cosmetics now, okay? And it's just a natural way of pulling that out. 
Really? Can, can a person who is wearing braces use this safely? Yes. Um, it is safe. It's effective. It has fluoride in it, so it's protecting your teeth. Fluoride is sort of like lifting, your, lifting weights for your teeth, okay? So mm-hmm. it makes our teeth stronger. It has fluoride in it. Um, it's black. It passes the coolness factor. It's all natural. Uh, no preservatives, no abrasives, no bleach. Hmm. How, how how does it work on a dental implants? I mean, if you've got, you know, your regular teeth in your mouth and then you have a few dental implants, is there going to be a difference in the shades of your teeth? Well, great question, and I teach dental implants all over the country, so I can assure you that's not going to do anything to your dental implants. Dental implants are made out of titanium, and those bad boys are in there, and they're, they're going to be good to go. Really? I think I'm going to need some of them. Those fillings I got 50 years ago, mm-hmm. they're gone. They fell out. So now I have like the Grand Canyon areas in my mouth. They feel so uh, big. It feels so big when you touch it with your tongue. I, I see it. Uh, I foresee a trip to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what age, what, what is the earliest age a person can use this? Because you don't want to use it on babies, I don't think. No? Teen, uh, teens. Very safe. Oh, really? Like, fact, I just, of, yeah, my, my teenage daughters uh, use it. Um, I have two teenage sons as well, and they both use it, and they, they love it. I mean, uh, again, it's the coolness factor. I have a son who attends uh, Carnegie Mellon University here in Pittsburgh, and, you know, uh, it's kind of past the coolness factor on his floor, so that's that's a neat thing, and they keep asking me, hey, bring some more over. Okay, so oh, anyway. I, oh, I think you must have been on once before to talk about the interdental brushes, remember? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, and, right. and, and the reason I was reminded of that, because I just went to your website, Cura Pro- is that right? Yeah, exactly. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the black tooth pa- toothpaste. Cura yeah, bra- it's, it's re- We can't keep it on the shelves. I mean, it's just really a hot product right now. So why? Well, okay, there's two tubes on here. One says black is white and one says white is black. Are they both the same thing? Yeah, the, the white is black is just a little slightly milder version. Um, uh, both are uh, same church, different pew, Larry. I mean, both are going to be very same effective. Same church, different pew. <laughs> I like that. Both are going to be very effective. Both are going to work very well for you. And uh, one just might be a stronger flavor. That's about it. The black is white. Uh, is there it's a the point? It's ebony and ivory thing. You know, it works. Ebony and ivory. <laughs> and they got a black toothbrush holding the black toothpaste. Well, I'll have That's to try right. it. So where do I get it? Is it in the stores? Um, it's mainly from the website at this point, and uh, that would be CureProx.com. And then it'll be uh, in uh, drugstores, et cetera, uh, probably later this year. It just got introduced to the U.S. Uh, about a month ago. Did you use it this morning? I sure did. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and when you go to your dental conventions, do you bring this with you to show your uh, peers? I tell you what, uh, great question. We were just at one of the world's largest dental conventions in uh, Chicago uh, about three weeks ago. And... The the amount of dentists that came up and were just like, tell me about this, tell me about it, it was amazing because, uh, you know, it's so new, it's so radical in thinking. Black is white, and it works. And the, the one of the key factors that my fellow practitioners wanted to know is uh, natural. You know, uh, I think there's – nobody woke up in America, Larry and Robin, this morning and said, hey, hmm. more preservatives in my life. Yes, okay. No, <laughs> and, no, no. Uh, but you know what? The two models on on your website, the girl is trying to brush her boyfriend's teeth, and she's missing. She's got it all over his cheek. <laughs> well, she has some dexterity issues. You know? That's another story for another day. <laughs> You see that picture, Robin? She, she's got it all over his cheek. <laughs> oh, yeah. Matches her mascara. Uh, it's just a, cute, just a cute, clever picture. All right. Curaprox. C-U-R-A-P-R-O-X.com. That's the website for this. Well, I'll have to look into it. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I hope you get a chance to uh, uh, try it out. And uh, also, the, the toothbrush that comes with it is super soft and does a great job, Larry and Robin. Oh, you get a toothbrush with it? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Oh, is it uh, the black toothbrush uh, as shown in the picture? Right. It's the, called the 5460, and that bad boy is just smooth and soft. Maybe I'm going to go all black. Maybe I'm going to get a black car. Oh, there you, there you go. go. I'll start wearing black yeah. clothing. Yeah, black hat. Did you put You'll a black... like the Johnny Cash of Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Larry, Larry Johnny Cash. There you go. <laughs> it absorbs heat, too, so it'll be, it'll be even hotter. <laughs> That's right. It'll be right, hot. exactly. You'll be the hot DJ on the radio. Yeah. The hot guy on the radio. <laughs> well, that would be... Literally a, hot. I'll oh, wake up yeah. from that dream That's real right. quickly. Uh, <laughs> 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 Dr. Bartusiak, thank you so much for being on the air with us today. How's the weather in Pittsburgh? 
Uh, currently, we are at 50 degrees and uh, a little bit of rain, but I tell you what, it's been a great winter and an and a awesome spring so far. We actually were at 73 yesterday. It's a nice area. I love Pittsburgh. I love the area. Come yeah. up and visit us sometime. Thank you, Doctor. That was fun. We'll take a little break and we'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For Tuesday, a mix of sun and clouds. The high 82 at the coast, 88 inland. Tuesday night will be partly cloudy early. Then areas of low clouds and fog late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Low Tuesday night, 60 to 64. Later Wednesday, partly sunny, high 84 to 88. Thursday, warm with clouds and some sun, high 80 to 86. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Gene Powell, Pasture Mowing. Gene and Debbie would like to thank you for another successful year of business. We also want to wish everybody a safe, healthy, and prosperous 2016. We are ready to be of service with our pasture mowing. 352-629-2440. Locally owned and operated, experienced and reliable, commercial and residential, licensed and insured. Powell Jean, G-E-N-E at yahoo.com. 352-629-2440. Gene Powell, Pasture Mowing. 352-629-2440. Palm Gardens Chats at the Garden is all new on March 22nd from 2 till 3 p.m. Great. I love Palm Gardens Chats. What's the topic? Metro Crime Prevention is speaking about identity theft, purse snatching, fraud and scams, guns, weapons, and more. We all need to go to Palm Garden on Tuesday, March 22nd from 2 to 3 p.m. I'm calling 854-6262 now. That's 352-854-6262 for Palm Garden. Have you heard of Hyperdirectory? When looking for local businesses, go to hyper.directory. No need for triple W, no need for dot com, just hyper.directory. Connecting customers to local companies when it matters most. Hyperdirectory is your local business directory partnered with the Ocala Chamber and Economic Partnership to bring you trusted local businesses. Keeping Ocala local. Use hyper.directory, no triple W, not even dot com, just hyper.directory. Connecting customers to businesses when it matters most. At Ameris Bank, we understand that there is no purchase more exciting than the purchase of a new home. We are dedicated to helping you find the mortgage that meets your needs and giving you the personal attention you deserve. Our mortgage options offer a variety of benefits, including up to 100% financing, down payment assistance, and expansive credit qualifications, all with the competitive rates and exceptional service. Call Ameris Bank today or visit AmerisBank.com to learn more. We look forward to serving you. Ameris Bank is an equal housing lender and member of FDIC, a loan subject to credit approval. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A. News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. Visit the WOCA website at www.woca.com. The most trusted name in news, Fox News. Every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. All right, it's uh, 12 minutes before 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Tuesday morning, 64 degrees here at the studios at the Paddock Mall. There's a uh, a, a movie coming out. Oh, no, it's out already, right? It's an Easter... I don't know if you call it an Easter movie, but it's about G- Jesus. It's called... Oh, Robin, where are you? It's called The Young Messiah, I think. Yeah, The Young Messiah. Uh, a- anyway, th- this is one of those... You, you could have predicted this when it comes to reviews, that there are people who love it and there are people who absolutely hate it. Uh, and, and isn't that usually the way it is when you have a, a Christian movie? You will have people who love it and people who hate it. Um, so I'm not going to tell you that I like it or don't like it. I've never seen it, but apparently it started this week, Robin? Did it I start think this so, week? yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's called The Young Messiah, and let me read one of the reviews. This is from the Christian Examiner. I purposely picked one that was positive simply because I figured the ones who are negative just don't want to see a movie about Jesus. That's my thinking. Right, exactly. And everybody uh, has different tastes. Uh, this this writer says, Scripture is mostly silent about Jesus' childhood, but a film opening this weekend, The Young Messiah, rated PG-13, tells the story of Christ as a seven-year-old boy exploring what life might have been like not only for him, but also for Mary, Joseph, and the surrounding community. While the movie is almost entirely fiction, the writers and the director made every effort to keep it theologically sound, ensuring, for example, that the young Jesus did not do anything that could be construed as sin. 
It is loosely based on Anne Rice's book titled Christ the Lord Out of Egypt, although major changes were made to some of her more controversial scenes so as to keep it acceptable to conservative audiences. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. It says, no doubt plenty of Christians will view the young Messiah with skepticism, wondering how a film with little supporting text from Scripture can be... Oh, where did it go? Uh, don't you love websites that jump? <laughs> I know, I know. It's just they're marvelous. <laughs> wonder how it can be acceptable. Uh, the, the writer says, I too was skeptical at first, but after watching it, walked away, moved, inspired, and even entertained. It is every bit as good as Risen, another film of biblical fiction that has been well received by moviegoers. Mm -hmm. So there you go. The boy playing Jesus is Adam Greaves, Neil. Adam Greaves, Neil. Okay. Uh, says it's he's simply outstanding as the boy Jesus who came who carries all the traits we r read about in Scripture with the adult Jesus. He is kind, loving, considerate, compassionate, and humble, but he is also a boy. And the filmmakers did a nice job of captivating what it might have been like to watch Jesus grow in wisdom and stature. Yeah, I think that's fascinating. I like to see that movie. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd tell you about it. It, it, it like I said, it's, if you look at the reviews online, you get good ones and bad ones and very few mediocre ones. Mm -hmm. People either loved it or hate it. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, No, it's like all movies because sometimes there are movies like Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, that's some true. Some people like it, some yeah. people didn't. It was shown at the Marion Theater. Uh, they have uh, uh, shoot 'em up movies, you know, where people are killing people and maiming them and some people Ro like it, some people don't. How does know? Roger Ebert review a movie? Didn't he die? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> well, you never know. You On know. RogerEbert.com Oh, they gave it two stars. Oh, Christy Lemire. Okay, so they keep the website going. Oh, and but, they have different reviewers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Instead so this, this person gave it two stars and uh, and not a good review. Yeah, I think it's all personal taste. And uh, that's what it should well, be. Well, we anyway. a diverse world. Anyway, there you go. It's it's prob and, and, and one of the things she writes is... Um, let me, let me just read it to you because you can see why maybe she doesn't like it. It's a novel approach to a story that's been told a million times before based on a novel by Anne Rice titled Christ the Lord out of Egypt. The young Messiah envisions what might have been what it might have been like for Jesus, played by Adam Greaves Neal, mm -hmm. as a seven-year-old boy who's just beginning to understand his powers. In many ways, he's like a regular kid. He likes to run around and play tag. He gets bullied. And like all little boys who love their mommies, he enjoys snuggling with Mary, played by Sarah Lazaro and hearing her tell stories. But he can also bring a dead bird back to life. Mm -hmm. He can make his sick uncle well, and he can restore sight to a blind rabbi. And he travel, and as he travels from Egypt back to Nazareth with Mary and his father Joseph, played by Vincent Walsh, he learns to hone his abilities and ultimately accept his identity and responsibility as the son of God. Mm -hmm. So they're making fun of the fact that maybe as a boy he brought a dead bird back to life. Yeah. But see, they shouldn't have put that in the movie because there was nothing in the Bible that said he did that. No. No, those first 12 years of his life were pretty vague in the Bible, but they have to Mine have too. it for viewers. <laughs> first 12 years of my life? That's why we have I don't remember so a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I got a few pieces that I remember. <laughs> All right. Today marks a crucial day in the presidential race. Voters in five states, including here in Florida. The other four are Illinois, Missouri, North Carolina, and Ohio. We head to the polls today, if you haven't already early voted. On the Republican side, Ted Cruz hopes to become the undisputed alternative to frontrunner Donald Trump, while Marco Rubio and John Kasich desperately need to prove their viability in their home states of Florida and Ohio, respectively. Mm-hmm. Both states are winner-take-all, Ohio and Florida, and carry a big haul of delegates. We've got 99 of them here for the Republicans. Yep. I think 219 for the Democrats. Uh, Bernie Sanders hopes to repeat his performance in, Mich in Michigan, where he scored an upset win over front-runner Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's right. See, people are trying to say that yep. she's going to be the one, but yes you never know. Yesterday in the news, there was a, a, a clip of... Um, a man who spent 39 years on death row, correct? Or yes. in, in prison and had yes. been on death row. And then he was found to be not guilty with the DNA testing. Mm -hmm. 
and he asked Mrs. Clinton if she still supports the death penalty after hearing his story, mm-hmm. knowing that there probably are other stories like his. Yeah. And she, you could tell she was uh, trying to answer it diplomatically, but the one thing I took out of it, and I, I'm not a basher of anybody, mm-hmm. but the one thing I took out of it was, and if you watch the video, I should have got the audio so you could hear it, but she basically says that she doesn't think the states could do it right. The states would get it wrong, but the federal government would get it right. So, in other words, if you were to read between the lines of what she said, the state governments should never be issuing death penalties, but the federal government would be the be the wiser, greater power, the one with the more, uh, you know, the better understanding of who's really guilty. Yeah, exactly. Who really should be put to death. Exactly. You know, you're either for it or you're against it. Exactly. You and know, that's my uh, feeling. And and I and I've been totally honest in my, in my opinion about the death penalty. It's mm-hmm. simple. If we're just talking about it, I'm against it. Mm-hmm. But if we're talking about a, a specific person who murdered several children and and was did heinous acts to everybody, then I'm for it. Oh sure. I'm very hypocritical when it comes to the death penalty and this, and I and I don't think that that's disingenuous or whatever the word would be. Mm-hmm. I think I'm being real genuine. Yeah, because I think are. I think I represent a lot of people who feel that way. That in general, mm-hmm. you know, sitting at a, at a at a business table or something trying to discuss this, ah, oh, man, I am not I'm not going to be that way. I'm not going to no death penalty. But then you hear about somebody who did heinous things. You see, yeah, yeah, this, this guy deserves to go. Yep, those murdered lives can't be brought back. So I'm for the death penalty. Pope Francis does not agree mm-hmm. with me on that part of this discussion. Um, Anyway, he will sign a decree today for the canonization of Mother Teresa and announce the date and venue for her sainthood. I think September or December. Uh, The Pope officially cleared the Albanian nun for sainthood on December 17th, recognizing the miraculous recovery of a Brazilian man with multiple brain abscesses. Through her intercession, she was beatified in 2003 after Pope St. John Paul II recognized the miraculous healing of an Indian woman, Mother Teresa, who was awarded the Nobel Prize, Peace Prize in 1979, dedicated her life to working for the poor. Yep. But I, I, thought, I thought I read somewhere there was, she was going to be made a, a, a saint in September. Okay, I'm, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the dates on that. Okay, I'll, I'll do a real quick search okay. here, see if it says anything. Okay. It probably does. Mm, Mother Teresa in the news to be made saint uh, mm-hmm. September 4th. Ah, September 4th. Mother Teresa to be made a saint, Pope Francis announces. Yes, yeah, September 4th. She will be declared a saint on September 4th. Uh, today marks the fifth anniversary of the brutal civil war in Syria, the conflict which has killed more than or nearly half a million people and created about five million refugees began March 15th, 2011 with protests against the government of President Bashar Assad. Violence escalated as Assad's troops moved to crush dissent, eventually exploding into a full-blown sectarian civil war. No final peace agreement is on the horizon, but in positive signs yesterday, peace talks resumed, and Russia announced it will end its airstrikes against insurgents and begin withdrawing troops. So they're letting them fight it out their own self. The FDA will meet today to de- to review Food and Drug Administration to review a first of a kind heart stint that dissolves into the body after helping to clear fat clogged arteries. Oh my the gosh. absorb stint already sold in Europe is made of a degradable material that is designed to stay intact and release medicine for a year and then break down over the next two years. The lab that makes it is Abbott Laboratories. They want the FDA to approve its devices as an alternative to permanent metal implants that have long been used to treat narrowing arteries that can lead to heart attack and death. Yeah, because the metal ones keep the area expanded and let it do what it does. And finally, Google self-driving car project leader Chris Ermson, fresh off an appearance at Tech Confab South by Southwest, will be among executives appearing today at the Senate Commerce Committee hearing 
on those trippy cars of our future. Execs from General Motors, Lyft, and Delphi Automotive are all expected to weigh in as Congress looks to develop a national strategy for the new technology. There you go. The world is changing in so many ways. We'll take a little break and be right back. Galen Unold from LifeSouth is up next. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. Presidential contest today in five states, Illinois, Missouri, North Carolina, Florida, and Ohio, where Fox's Molly Line is in Franklin County. Things have been very close here, a dead heat, particularly on the GOP side. Now, uh, Governor John Kasich, this is his home state, and he's put a lot of energy in here. Also joining him on the trail, former Massachusetts governor and 2012 Republican nominee Mitt Romney. Kasich has yet to claim a victory. He's been lagging behind in the delegate count and is depending on a big would take all win here to keep his campaign alive. The race is also tight between Democrats. Secretary Hillary Clinton leaning Senator Bernie Sanders, but she was up ahead of the Michigan primary too, and then ultimately Sanders achieved an upset win there. Three police officers shot and injured last night on Chicago's west side during an investigation into possible narcotics activity. And Dallas EV wins his third straight Iditarod trail dog race in Nome, Alaska. Fox News, we report, you decide. Wildfires burn millions of acres each year. And each year, wildland firefighters like Fire Chief James Hall battle to contain them. But they can't do it alone. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. It can ignite and destroy your home, your community, or more. A single ember can be just as dangerous as the wildfire itself. But you can do something firefighters can't. You can act now to prepare your home, your community for wildfire. You can reduce the risk. Do your part. Go to fireadapted.org. Get fire adapted. Learn what you can do now to reduce wildfire damage later at fireadapted.org. A public service message brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Learn more at fireadapted.org. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Whether you're building it up or knocking it down, get it done, rent it now. Sunbelt Rentals is here to make your job a little easier. Our knowledgeable staff will help you find the right equipment for any job, big or small. Did you know that Sunbelt Rentals carries heaters, air conditioners, generators, lighting, traffic control, and so much more? So whether you're building it up or knocking it down, we've got the equipment you need. Get it done, rent it now. And right now, for a limited time, you can have it for less. Just by mentioning this ad, if you rent it Friday afternoon, you can keep it the whole weekend and only pay for one day. And this is a limited time offer, so stop into Sunbelt Rentals today, Northwest 27th, just a quarter mile east of I-75. For more information, just give us a call, 352-369-9101, 352-369-9101. Sunbelt Rentals, get it done, rent it now, 352-369-9101. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here. 
your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Wanna have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep at 352-528-0020. Have you heard of Hyper Directory? When looking for local businesses, go to hyper.directory. No need for triple W, no need for dot com, just hyper.directory. Connecting customers.